moment, they're the antithesis of Manchester United in terms of the way the way they're playing football, aren't they? They are just brilliant. Yeah, I, I watched a lot of it. I don't know whether the lads because they came up to the studio, but um, you know they went three two at one stage, and you thought, oh, this is getting a bit interesting, and then he just ran down the other end and went goal, goal, goal. Yeah. I mean, Kevin De Bruyne was out of this world and came off. You know, he brought him off just to save him for the uh, the Napoli game uh, uh, during the week. But they are absolutely frightening at the moment. Talk about options that they can bring on to score goals. Everybody joins in the party so, today. Some of De Bruyne's uh, passes, you, you could almost have a team of engineers out there for an hour looking at the angles that he's producing in a split yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can find gaps and openings that just don't exist. Yeah. He how, really how is. How good amazing. is he becoming? I mean, he's starting to nudge towards that world-class conversation, isn't he? Didn't, yeah. someone, didn't someone say that once? But, yeah. De Bruyne is world-class. Yeah, did, yeah. <laughs> Who would that have been? No, I said I wouldn't pay to watch him about two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, but listen, but listen I'm, not, I'm not allowed to change my mind or get hammered on social media. Oh, now I've said yes. I think he's the best midfield player in the world at the minute, this minute in time. Yeah. You know, would we, you pay to watch him now? Of course, uh, Martin said, Maka said, yeah, this yeah. passing, some of the passes oh. for those goals today, you listen to the boys on BT Sports Score, I think it was Jermaine Genus's game, saying about his passing, mm. world class, yeah. best midfield player in the world. The frightening thing is, sorry Mark, is that they bring a couple of superstars off and then a mm. couple of superstars yeah. just walk on and just join in, instantly just join in, there's not like 10 minutes of getting involved in the game, they just come on. And, and they've, they... really, they've really missed Aguero as well, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> and I think he's coming back shortly. I mean, it is phenomenal what we're saying. They are taking the game of football yeah. to another level. And we've got the Champions League coming up as well now, haven't we, in, in midweek. And it's really interesting to see how they do on all fronts because yeah. it's a representation of our Premier League. Yeah, and maybe yeah. the Premier League now is getting much better. Well, can we now game, finally uh, compete against the Real Madrid? We'll see how they are against Napoli because they're playing well, aren't they? They've got a, they've got a game tonight, haven't they, against Roma. But they're playing well. It'll be a different type of game because everybody knows their strengths now, Man Manchester City, aren't they? they well, are and there is a strength. Forward. Benjamin Mendy tweeted, De Bruyne has more assists in one game than most of us in our entire careers. Too good. Uh, incredible. Um,